you are currently in the supplement room at my office. That's where we're having this conversation. Um, I have supplements to give patients because we know that there's frequently supplements that you can't get on the regular health food store shelves. We don't know about their freshness, their quality necessarily, and we don't want to send people out for critical health issues to not get the best. Um, lately, there's been a lot of discussion about energy drinks, which are supposed to be nutritional, I don't necessarily agree, and the risk of heart attack. Energy drinks have tons of caffeine, 160, 200, 300 milligrams of caffeine at a whack. It's a big, tall 24 ounce uh, drink can have lots of caffeine, enough that it would pretty much exceed the normal dose for a person for a day. Typically three or four cups of coffee is about as high as you want to go with caffeine. That'll be three or 400 milligrams. Um, you can go as high as 600 and the studies say a thousand milligrams is probably safe, but I don't think that's nutritional supplementation. So don't get confused that nutritional supplements are the same as energy drinks and everything that's out there that calls itself a health food or a nutritional support product. They're not. You really need to work with somebody who understands nutritional supplementation well. Just go into a health food store or to that health aisle at the uh, supermarket doesn't necessarily give you what you need in terms of nutritional support. Highly trained doctors in functional medicine, integrative medicine, nutritionists, naturopathic doctors are all specifically trained to provide you with what you need. There's a lawsuit pending in California that monster energy drinks caused heart attacks. There's no proof that that happened. They have not actually said that it did, but there's a lawsuit there, so there's lots of press. But don't confuse energy drinks with nutritional supplementation. They're different. What's in an energy drink is specifically designed to cause you to be stimulated and be active and be energized. I don't know if I call that good energy. It's negative on your adrenal gland. It certainly doesn't provide you a balanced energy production. And I can't recommend it as a physician to patients who want nutritional supplementation. So if they're saying a monster drink causes monster problems, you might want to think about that not being a nutritional plan but it's a stimulant. It's like taking a bunch of shots of espresso or coffee. And that's going to have an effect, but it might not necessarily be good. A well-trained doctor is going to be able to help you to make great decisions about that. Get with them. If you have energy problems, need adrenal support, need some stimulants. Doctors can do all that stuff. Find one who really knows what they're doing. The American Academy for the Advancement of Medicine or American College for the Advancement of Medicine. Institute for Functional Medicine. All the groups that are naturopathic, and osteopathic and allopathic that understand this area of nutrition can help you. Don't get fooled. Work with a great professional. We're better together.